Have you heard yet about a new financial development that could pose a risk to your financial future? I'm talking about Central Bank Digital Currency or CBDC for short. While CBDC may seem like a cool idea and a step forward in financial innovation, it also poses significant risks and dangers that you've got to be aware of and prepare for. In this episode, I share the dangers of CBDC and how you can protect yourself and your money before it becomes your reality. Hello, powerful people. Welcome to More Money with Milan Show. I'm Milan Levis, holistic financial independence mentor and host of this show. I help people who struggle with money worries to have more money with less risk and less stress and create their unique path to financial independence. Now, more than ever before, you've got to be financially savvy so that you can make better financial decisions. If you want to have a private money strategy called Never Worry About Money Again with me, value $500, you can schedule it at speakwithmillion.com. So that's the link to schedule it. And um, uh, it's no cost to you at all. It's on me. It's my gift to you. And we'll talk about your specific situations and your best next steps in terms of protecting and uh, protecting your wealth and building your path to financial independence. Okay, let's talk um, and let's dive into the CBDC um, new innovation uh, in terms of financial currencies uh, about its risks and um, how to protect yourself. For centuries, for centuries, cash and traditional banking services have been um, a go-to for financial transactions, right? But now central banks want to change it and offer their own digital currency. The official idea behind CBDC is to provide a digital alternative to cash and uh, traditional banking services and to increase financial inclusion for people who don't have access to banks. Sounds like a good idea, right? But this is not a complete picture. As you may know, power and money are closely interconnected. Power implies control and cash is not easy to control. Government controlled digital currency implies full control over your financial life. There are some serious dangers to this whole CBDC thing that I want to share with you today so you will be informed. So let's go over some of these risks. The first danger is the risk of cyber attacks. Digital currencies are prone to being hacked and central banks would need to invest a ton of money in cybersecurity to prevent the CBDC from being hacked. With all transactions taking place in the digital environment, hackers and other malicious actors have greater opportunity to steal funds or personal information. Cybersecurity breaches could lead to significant financial losses and personal harm. That could lead to major financial instability and possibly even collapse of the whole system. Yikes. The second danger is the risk of privacy violations. CBDC would be a centralized currency, which means that every transaction would be recorded by the central bank every transaction. This would give the central bank access to everyone's financial data. And this personal financial data could be used for surveillance, similar to Chinese Communist Party's social credit score system. Government may influence how you spend your money. If you buy too much of alcohol or donate to associations that are not supported by the government, you can be fined, right? Or worse, your access to digital money can be blocked. Yes, digital currencies allow for transactions to be tracked and monitored, which can give governments unprecedented access to your financial information. 
This raises concerns about government surveillance and the potential for abuse. It could lead to serious invasion of privacy and it could make people lose trust in our financial system. Nobody wants the big brother watching the every financial move, right? So that's why I'm informing you. I always like to bring you some very um, relevant, very urgent information so you will be an informed consumer. All right, next um, is the third danger is the financial stability risk, the risk of financial instability. If CBDC leads to a significant shift away from cash and traditional banking services, it could create a, a scenario in which people would rush uh, to withdraw their funds from banks, especially regional banks. The whole banking system may collapse, which will create a major financial chaos. The central bank would need to manage the transition to CBDC very carefully to make sure this doesn't happen. You don't want to end up with no money to buy your now overpriced eggs or, or veggies, right? Okay, so let's go to the, the fourth. Oh, I think I missed... Um, so let me just tell you the fourth uh, danger because I think I missed um, uh, to put it on the screen. So the fourth danger is uh, the risk of centralization. As I mentioned earlier, CBDC would be a centralized currency, meaning that the central bank would have total control over the monetary system. This could lead to a loss of financial freedom and pretty much complete government control over your financial life. That would be a serious threat to your individual rights and freedom and would clear the path to government overreach and the potential for abuse. You don't want to lose your financial freedom, right? Nobody does. So that's why today I want to talk about how you can protect yourself and uh, prepare because time is running out. And the, the implementation of the central bank digital currency is on the horizon and you need to be prepared and um, so you will be able to protect yourself. All right, so what can you do? I would never warn you without giving you solutions. Okay, so let's see. Um, I want to make sure that you will see the um, each point for protect and prepare. So the first thing uh, that you can do is to educate yourself about the risks and benefits of CBDC. Okay, Learn about the cybersecurity risks, the privacy concerns, and the potential impact on financial freedom. There is a ton of information out there, so start doing your research. That's how I uh, realized that I need to talk about this. I've done some research. Watching this episode of my show is a great start already, okay? So make sure that you, you, you are informed. Uh, the, second, uh, the second thing that you can do right now is make sure you, your digital security is top-notch. Use strong passwords. Keep your antivirus software up to date and avoid clicking on suspicious links or downloading unknown software. Right now, it may be not as critical, but um, you know, if we, if we have a centralized uh, central bank uh, digital currency, that would be critical for you to be um, protected. Also, protect yourself by using two-factor authentic authentication when you log into data sensitive, uh, especially uh, financial data sensitive sites. I use uh, two uh, factor authentication on most of my uh, platforms. CBDC is a digital currency. So you'll need to make sure that your digital assets are secure. Next, diversify your financial assets. Very important point. 
Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your money across different types of assets, investments, and accounts. Diversify your money among cash, value, or dividend-paying stocks, gold and silver, cryptocurrency, or other assets. For example, investing in precious metals offers a tangible, reliable, and stable investment option that can be easily bought and sold. Whether you're a short-term investor or a long-term investor, investing in precious metals is an excellent way to safeguard your financial future. And by spreading investments across multiple assets, you reduce your risk by being exposed to one single asset class that can collapse, okay? You still uh, um, may have some risk, but when you diversify, you decrease this risk. This will help you minimize the risk that CBDC can cause on the, um, uh, for the banks and in the form of financial instability. Okay, next way to protect yourself and prepare is to consider using alternative payment methods. While CBDC may become the new norm, it's still important to have other payment options available. Make sure you're familiar with different payment methods and have them set up and ready to use, like debit cards, PayPal, cryptocurrency payments, etc. Okay. And finally, the last one that I want to uh, share with you today is the, the last way to protect uh, yourself um, in, in the situation of uh, CBDC uh, implementation would be to become financially savvy. I keep saying this again and again. Stay informed and stay engaged. Advocate for policies that protect financial freedom and privacy and stay up to date with the latest development on CBDC. By being financially savvy, by staying informed and engaged, you can help even shape the future of CBDC and ensure that it's implemented in a way that benefits everyone as much as possible, right? So uh, I'm sure that there are some limitations, but as much as possible, we want this new digital currency to benefit everyone. So. There you have it, some actionable steps that you can take to prepare for CBDC implementation. Don't wait until it's too late. Please do not wait until it's too late. Start taking actions now. To win the money game, you've got to know your available options. Be informed and choose the available options strategically. That's all I have for today. Again, if you want to have a private money strategy call, never worry about money again with me. You can schedule it at speakwithmillen.com. No cost to you. It's on me. It's my gift. And uh, I want to wish you a, a great week. And um, I will see you again next week. Mm -hmm.